Joining us tonight for News 19 at 10, I'm Siobhan Bryan. And I'm Greg Screws. And with just two months before the Alabama Republican primary election, recent polls suggest Representative Mo Brooks is lagging behind his challengers in the Senate race. Reports that some are frustrated by Mo's fundraising struggle. And former President Donald Trump publicly stated he's displeased with the performance of Brooks, the candidate that he previously endorsed for this race, and suggested he's now open to backing another candidate. News 19's Archie Snowden spoke to Brooks today about his fundraising efforts and his lack of campaign ads for the Senate race. Race. Okay, thank you, Siobhan. At the outset of the Senate race, it was said that Mo Brooks needed to do the least of the fundraising just based on his political experience alone. But when it comes to political advertising, it's no secret that Brooks has been sorely behind. Mo Brooks joined here today by Texas Congressman Brian Babin. Babin made sure that his endorsement of Brooks for Senate is known, but Brooks may need more of a push. Uh, Mo's campaign is clearly in trouble. Political analyst David Person, a chief strategist for Democratic Senator candidate Will Boyd, says the campaign funding and campaign ads are the key to the Senate race, evident by the retiring Alabama Senator Richard Shelby, who's preparing to pour as much as $6 million into the race, supported by Katie Britt. She's locked into a battle with Brooks and surging Army veteran Mike Durant. Person says that Brooks may have made a serious error in not running campaign ads. His performance from the beginning in terms of fundraising, and in terms of polling has been pretty lackluster for the most part, especially the fundraising area, been very lackluster. There are a number of positives to being in politics for as long as Mo has been in politics. He has an actual voting record uh, on which voters can judge him. Republican political analyst Jay Town says the ads and fundraising aside, the appeal by Brooks to supporters is a double-edged sword. Although former President Donald Trump told a news outlet that he's displeased with the performance of Brooks, his political experience outweighs the lack of campaign ads. Until President Trump uh, retracts that endorsement, it's still there. Uh, and I know that uh, the Brooks campaign has, has said that they speak with um, uh, the president uh, on a pretty routine and regular basis. So, you know, certainly curing that endorsement is, is a good idea for Mo. Now, Brooks says that voters are more concerned with watching his campaign promise than anything else. And opponents have been shocked by the, uh, by the thought that Brooks is far behind. But it, it remains to be seen that with the, whether Donald Trump will support Brooks. But Brooks still remains the odds-on favorite. Siobhan.